Taggers. I'm at Harcourt Park, just outside of Wellington. And this was the location for the Fortress of Isengard in the blockbuster film, Lord of the Rings. Now, Wellington, you have to have a look. There's no business like show business. Welcome to Wellingwood. Apart from the natural beauty and the fact that you can walk anywhere and the friendliness of the people, I love the harbour. The sculpture all along the harbour and there's pieces of art everywhere and the fact that wherever I am in Wellington in the summertime, if I decide to go for a swim, I can walk there in 10 minutes. I love the coffee in Wellington as well too. There's a really great little cafe society. This is our main telescope that we use um, for our public observing, um, so this is actually 145 years old. Now Wellington, what do you love about it? I love the fact that it's got everything that you expect from a capital city, but yet you can walk from one side to the other. Everybody's really friendly. It's also really, the, I think, the cultural capital of New Zealand. Zealandia is the world's first urban eco-sanctuary. Here you'll see some of New Zealand's rarest species. We've got over 30 uh, endemic or native species of birds alone. A huge diversity. The Hawthorne Lounge was started by two local brothers and styled in honour of their grandfather. And what they've created is one of the coolest prohibition-style bars in Wellington. Harry Pivot, shh, something's coming. Many sections of this river were used in the filming of Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. We can see it in each you shall not pass! You know what, Wellington was never on my to-do list, but now I don't want to leave. From the cool cafe culture in the city to this, less than an hour away. And guess what, Expedia have some great deals to get you here. Have a look.